Why do you keep getting overlooked for that promotion? It's probably not your technical skills. It's probably your softer skills in emotional and social intelligence. So that's the secret. You need to have emotional and social intelligence, also known as EQ and SQ. Why are these things important? Because you need to have a better understanding of yourself. You need to be able to better understand those around you, empathize with them better. And you also need to understand how your group and organization work as a whole. These are the things that are going to help you become much higher output at work, understand how you fit in the organization, as well as help you grow in your career to get where you want to be. In having emotional and social intelligence, you'll also quickly learn that you need to protect your reputation with your life. There's a reason that this is one of the 48 laws of power. Your reputation and how you carry yourself at work is very important and it's something you can start to work on literally today. So having better self-awareness, so understanding when you're getting fired up over some certain topic, maybe even verbally calling it out saying, wow, that's uh, getting me a bit frustrated. You could even call it out. There's very tactful ways to do this. In a meeting, call out, wow, that, that makes me quite frustrating, or this is a frustrating process. What can we do to try to fix this instead of just dwelling and circling the drain emotionally and bottling things up like Ned Flanders from The Simpsons. So we don't want to have a Flanders explosion of emotion. That's never something you want. And having better awareness and regulation to your emotions, which also happen to be the first two steps in emotional intelligence, are great things that you can start to do right now to better control your emotions. And then you can start to work on paying attention to others better so you can actively listen to them and start to empathize with them. And then you can start to grow your professional network and really learn how to get more done in the same amount of time. It's been shown time and time again in high performing organizations that the top performing engineers are the ones with the strongest professional network that can get the most done. So you have not only a strong professional network, but a network that has the breadth that you can get more done, even if the things are not completely related to your job. So this comes down to having a good network so you can step one or two steps away and be able to get really anywhere you need to get and find anyone you need to talk to to get something done quickly. And having those people you can call that are going to reciprocate, they'll call you, you respond, and you have integrity. You don't say you're going to do things and then don't do them. And really just showing up and doing the work. So you show up and do the work, have integrity, and pay attention. Learning emotional intelligence will help you become a better part of your larger organization and will help you to get more done. Getting more done is going to get you faster promotions, bigger raises, which is something that I don't think I've heard someone say they don't want. I trust you've been paying attention to this social intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay. Click that link below and schedule a call with me today.